It's like, all right, Dad. He's like, go to school, get a job. I'm like, yeah. It's not very good stuff. Okay. My, uh, my father, He's my father. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway. So my father, he really believes in the whole, I got this. All right. I'm just going to take a breather. How you guys doing that? My name's Zach Miller. My father's a weird guy. He, uh, he, but he, he really subscribes to the, you know, theory that nurture is really what makes you who you are and that everybody is a product of their environment, which I, you know, I believe to be true, which is great. Because every time I do something stupid, which is terrifyingly often, I could just look at him and go, eh, you know, two peas in a pod. <laughs> See, I have funny jokes now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, you know, my, uh, but uh, he's kind of hard to read, I don't know, you know, it, I, I don't know what my parents think of me, I was always kind of a, I was a weird kid, I was never very good at sports, I was never very good at school or anything, I was in t-ball, and uh, I, I finally hit the ball, you know, and I ran all the bases, and I was like, yeah, my father's finally going to be proud of me. It's my Rudy moment, you know. I ran all the bases, and everybody was screaming, and it was, it was incredible, people. And then I was like, Dad, did you see me? Did you see me? And he was like, yeah, you didn't have to do that. You were out. Everybody was screaming. Was it, was, it was embarrassing. <laughs> and I was just like, I was like, yeah, Dad, I'm changing up the game. What do you want? You know? But, uh, yeah. I was, uh, I'm an only child, that's, that's, uh, uh, I grew up as an only child, but I had, a, I had a lot of pets, I had some, I had some horrible pet dads, my, uh, my gerbils, my, my father flushed them down the toilet, he was just like, yeah, they, they stunk, and we, we didn't want any of that, and my, uh, my cat died, we had to put her, put him to sleep, my cat Baxter, and I wasn't really sure why, until I was older, and I asked my, uh, I asked my mom, I was like, whatever happened to Baxter, and she was like, yeah, he had AIDS, and we had to put him to sleep. And I was like, wow, he had AIDS? That is, that's rough. Like, fuck out your cat died of AIDS. Like, I had no clue. I mean, I had no kitty AIDS. It was a real thing. I don't know. Yeah. I really went through that material really fast. It was like, it was really well written out. I don't know how much time I have left. But, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. But I'm hoping, like, I don't know. My, uh, I, I was kind of, I was, I was kind of late today. Unfortunately, my father was like, we were, we were at this barbecue. This is actually a true story. I have a lot of jokes about my dad. I don't know. But uh, he, he, he was playing football. We were at this barbecue, and I left. And he was playing football with like some family friends. And he just fell on his collarbone, and uh, it, like almost broke his collarbone. So I had to go to the hospital. And my dad's always making fun of me. He's a very honest guy. Like I, I got, I got a little, you know, messed up, like chin or like neck hair and facial hair, I guess. Like he is, like the goatee, I think looks all right. You know, once I graduated high school, I was like, yeah, I can have facial hair, man, because I went to a Catholic school. But anyway, but uh, he's always like, if I, if it's unshaven or whatever, he, he's very, he can be kind of crude. He's like, oh, Zach, you look like you got a vagina neck, and everybody thinks it's hilarious. Like all his friends and my grandma's just like, my son's the funniest guy in the world. And right when I came to the hospital, uh, within like three minutes of seeing him, he was like, hey, so, you know, good luck tonight. And I was like, yeah, I hope I do all right. And he was just like, you really got to do a bit about the vagina. <laughs> and he just went through this like five minutes. I was like, all right. Thank you, guys.